ಮನ್ಮನಾಭವ ಮತ್ಭಕ್ತೋ ಮತ್ಯಾಜಿ ಮಾಂ ನಮಸ್ಕುಜೋ ಮಾಮೇ ವೈಶ್ಯಸಿ ಸತ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಜಾನೆ ಪ್ರಿಯೋಸಿ ಮೇ always think of me become my devotee worship me and offer your homage unto me thus you will come to me without fail i promise you this because you are my very dear friend on his advent on earth these were the instructions of the supreme lord shri krishna to his devotee arjun in the concluding parts of bhagavad gita and thus was born a new wave of krishna consciousness a way of spiritual living inspired and sparked by the supreme devotion to lord shri krishna Five thousand years later a movement was born with a mission to revive and spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. Srila Prabhupada, a pure devotee of Lord Shri Krishna and Acharya, took the divine message of Krishna consciousness all over the world and established 108 Krishna temples. He described chanting Krishna's holy names. joyous singing and dancing philosophizing and feasting krishna prasadam is the world of krishna consciousness to advance and further the divine mission of shrila prabhupada at the very holy place where it was first conceived shri vrindavan dham aradhyo bhagavan rajesh tanaya tad dhama vrindavanam just as Lord Shri Krishna is worshipable his abode Vrindavan Dham is also worshipable so for devotees of Krishna Vrindavan is a very important place one of the spiritual capitals in our country the devotees of Iskon Bangalore have conceived a new project in Vrindavan this is the grand vrindavan chandrodaya mandir and krishna leela park in vrindavan itself prabhupad said you know if you want to build something for krishna you build a skyscraper a skyscraper temple is something that even prabhupad envisioned we wanted to have a monumental an iconic temple to celebrate to commemorate the contributions that lord shri krishna has made in today's world it is large monuments which make a statement that is what attracts the attention of the people and so we felt we have to have a very iconic and monumental temple of krishna to be able to attract today's generation spread over 65 acres in the heart of vrindavan this grand temple has a footprint of 5 and a half acres and is 700 feet or 70 stories when i started you know thinking of what could be the seed idea for the external form of this temple uh, somehow the pyramid came into my mind and i thought it should be a development of this pyramid form yada yada hi dharmasya tanir bhavati bharata atyuttana madharmasya people who associate with this temple they get an opportunity to associate with the vedic knowledge and the cultural elements participate in 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 cultural events which are centered around our spirituality so in other words we want to spiritualize people's consciousness when they come to this temple give them an experience of touch of the supreme spirit krishna a 
beyond the grand temple is the recreated 30 acres of forest of Vrindavan. Ancient texts describe 5,000 years back when Lord Sri Krishna was present in Vrindavan. This whole area was thick wooded forests. In fact, they describe that there were 12 different kinds of forests in Braj Bhumi. We also plan to have a recreated Yamuna Creek meandering, which will also offer an opportunity for people uh, to go around the forest, a boating opportunity, and that way we want to transport people to the times and age of Krishna. Another important aspect of the project is the housing opportunities in the precincts of the Grand Temple. All set in the midst of the wooded areas with beautiful view of and easy access to the Grand Temple. We not only want people to be passing by, visiting and you know, going away it's the same day. We wanted to create residential facilities for those who want to stay a few days and experience that spiritual atmosphere. Donors who contribute towards the construction of the Grand Temple can stay in these housing facilities for short or long stay so that they can participate and immerse themselves in the spiritual activities of the temple along with their families. These facilities are of varied kinds. Bungalows, apartments or simple rooms. Come and participate in this historic moment to become an instrument in the making of the grand skyscraper temple for Lord Sri Krishna in the holy land of Vrindavan. As Srila Prabhupada said, if you build a temple of Lord Sri Krishna here in this world, Sri Krishna will build a palace for you in the spiritual world, Vaikuntha. I think it's an inspiration of Krishna, this concept. Uh, I, I would say that these kind of big projects, the big moves are made by the big people. Today people lead a life with so much information, entertainment, activities, stressed out in urban centers. So we want people to come to our temple here in Vrindavan and spend a few days, a few weeks, maybe a few months and that way learn some of the aspects of Krishna's philosophy and go back to their homes and workplaces and lead a more enlightened, more enriched, more sublime life. <music>